All right, let's make this one pithy, shall we? Oh. Like, subscribe, and follow This Is Truly News, and we'll be your friends forever. Yes. Not something most people aspire to, but it's something. Even after we're dead, we'll like you. That means we'll haunt them? I hope so. Okay. Like, subscribe, and follow. <laughs> By the way, if you ever see the British TV show Ghosts, it's a hoot. i got to watch uh, that one. I really do. do. I do. I'm, I'm going through... What am I going through? Fringe Menopause. Right no, I'm going through Fringe right now, and I'm season three. Ah. Like, subscribe, and follow This Is Truly News. If you see a story we'd like, T-I-T-R at... At Radio Network. <laughs> well done, lad. Thank you. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. A stunned... But, hey, and that's laddie to you. <laughs> Uh, that was my dog's name. What are you thinking? Well, I suppose I could call you Indiana. A stunned smoker found a dead lizard in a pouch of rolling tobacco. Well. Shut up. Why? Everyone's going to want one. That's why I never rolled my own, man. <laughs> the squashed three-inch reptile was discovered stuffed inside a 30-gram packet of amber leaf tobacco pur- purchased mm. at a Morrison supermarket. Customer said the poor thing was bone dry, stiff as a board. It looked like some of the tobacco had actually dried into his body. So if you added water? <laughs> I don't. Yeah, rehydrate him. It was thought to be a fence lizard, native, native to the tobacco-growing state of Virginia, U.S. It crossed the Atlantic and was uncovered in Wakefield, West Yorkshire. The smoker claimed that amber leaf refused to refund for the uh, 1855 well, more than 18-pound pouch. I never know what to do with the cents. Yeah, I don't either. They, it's Britain. They have no cents. <laughs> well, wow. Nice work. He, want, he wants the lizard posted to their U.S. factory as proof. Oh, yeah, they want, the, they want him to send us the lizard. Amber Leaf producers, uh, Japan Tobacco International, and Morrison Supermarkets have been cocta- contacted for comment. They ain't making one. Can you FedEx a dead lizard? I just... Yeah, I think you can. It's a mummified lizard. It's a... Hey, I want a tobacco lizard. It's sort of like the worm in the tequila. Residents of South Florida, of South Tampa, Florida, yes, Florida people, are shaking their heads trying to discover the source of a, quote, deep, vibrating bass... Bass? A deep, vibrating... And who doesn't want a vibrating bass? Uh, especially Mrs. Bass, a uh, deep vibrating bass sound that's been occurring Saturday evenings for months, according to Fox 13 TV. Yeah, but we don't want it shuddering. I think that would probably be too much. <laughs> Abby Reynolds. Uh, Abby Reynolds, and you can feel it when your head's down on the pillow. I'll, I will <laughs> drive down there and slap you. People have posted on social media. <laughs> Oh, God. People have posted on social media saying that their windows are literally literally rattling and it reverberates from neighboring tall houses like an echo chamber. The Tampa police can't locate a source. Seriously? Yeah. They checked with the local Air Force base, cruise lines. Neither of them are responsible for the noise, to the best of their knowledge. Resident Zach Reynolds and others want to get to the bottom of it, trying to triangulate the noise and station people in different areas to try and, and I quote, suss out the culprit you just don't hear the word suss enough and my guess is it's teenagers with a phobia for oh i don't know metal Mm. and they drive about although why they're putting their speakers facing the ground i don't know (laughs) oh right could have been drink could have been alcohol involved but there is how about a few social media posts to sort of I don't know. Jack Even up out the day of thinking, <laughs> right? New dating app idea called 7.5. Only for people who are like a strong seven, maybe an eight on a good day. Who look kind of athletic, but would probably die if they had to run a mile. Have depression, but the kind that makes you funny. Car's check engine light is on. No one else allowed. <laughs> It's 
kind of dating app I'd need. Name is Bob. He lives over in Devlin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to knock on his door. That'd be yeah. this serious question here. Mm. When someone's telling you a sad story and crying, how long should I wait before I take a bite of my corn dog? Count at least 25 Mississippis. <laughs> Why do so many mobile games want access to all photo galleries and camera on your phone? The answer? They want pictures of you on the toilet so they can blackmail you into writing good reviews about their product. Don't ask me how I know, because all I know is that Candy Crush is a lifesaver during these hard times. Would recommend to a friend. I don't know. Stupid species. (laughs) I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but you can eat lasagna in the shower if you want to. It's not illegal. They can't arrest you. Go and be free. Okay, Big Bang Theory moment. Okay, do Penny it. decides. She... But you were drinking water. I just didn't want to drink. Oh, please. I've seen you drink in the shower. Right? And, of course, Howard took from that. You've showered together? <laughs> <laughs> well, Ian used to come back from... You no, know, uh... sometimes you're just... Ugh. You know, when he was playing for the U, Ian used to come back from rugby tournaments and he'd crawl into a hot shower, sit down in the tub, crack a cold beer and just relax for yep. a little while. I've That's been known little... to do that. Is there women, wine and candles, remember? Yeah. Men, showers and beer. And now I'm back to Howard and <laughs> and Katie Sockoff. Oh, boy. Embrace your inner child. Run in a meadow. Laugh at the sun. Follow the rainbow. Pee in your pants. Get angry at the color blue. Scream because circles should be squares. Tell a stranger she looks like the lady in Daddy's Secret Magazines. Believe in magic. It's got to be the weirdest mashup I have ever heard in my life. (laughs) And finally. Yep. Teachers of Reddit, what's the difference between 1997, 2007, and 2017 students? 1997, quit passing notes. Yep. 2007, quit texting. Yep. 2017, are you seriously watching Netflix right now? Yeah. My, how we progressed. <laughs> Police in the village of Smith, Poland, because I can't pronounce Barzimich. Okay, here, you try yeah, it, pole Poland. boy. Okay. W A R Z Y M I C E. I would go with Varzimich. Well, that's about as close as I can get you. Okay. They're hunting for an unlikely culprit in a vandalism case. Notes from Poland reports a Christmas tree. A vandalized Christmas tree. The odd figure cut a hole in a fence, slashed the tires of 21 vehicles belonging to a meat warehouse around 1 a.m. Cameras recording the entire incident. Thank you. In fact, the figure is seen loitering nearby and covering themselves with branches taken from nearby trees before committing the crime. Matus Vatrel, who works for the meat company, called it more of a guerrilla action than a well-prepared operation. <laughs> uh, this is a spur-of-the-moment the... thing. Yep. Yeah, there along the way, he lost his camouflage, and branches were scattered everywhere. And they still haven't found him, though. How much Uzo was involved in this thing? Oh, I think when they find him, yeah. he'll still be drunk. <laughs> you know, right. As long as they find him in the next calendar month, year. There we go. Decade? (laughs) Any time before we die. Here, let me put these icky, sticky, scratchy branches on me so they don't know who I am. (laughs) Yeah, boy, you taught them. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.